Hey everyone, something a little different for you this week. I'm at the Los Angeles Auto Show, where hypothetically we'll get to take a look at a bunch of neat EVs and whatever the hell this thing is. Let's go. Predictably, Jaguar showed up with the I-Pace, but for some reason, I thought it would be bigger. The interior of the I-Pace is a uh, fairly typical Jaguar, except you have a cup holder cover? Also, I'm pretty sure that's Russian. I'm sorry, Earl. As it turns out, Jaguar owners can only have very tiny frunk puppies. As expected, the Tesla booth was pretty busy. Audi is here with their e-tron Quattro SUV after, well, a decade of promises and concept cars, but they're not really talking range, efficiency, or any of the really interesting things. Some Audi executives have mentioned that they're confident the car will be able to get about 248 miles on the new European WLTP test cycle, but what that'll turn into EPA, we'll just have to wait and see. Odds are probably a little less than that. I wasn't able to get anyone to open up an e-tron Quattro for me, but I've been assured that unlike its Mercedes counterpart, it does have a frunk. So let's label this one plausible for now. Kia brought the 2020 Soul to the auto show, which has finally shed its compliance car roots, featuring a 64 kilowatt hour liquid cooled battery and a range somewhere north of 200 miles. Unfortunately, no frunk puppy love here because uh, there's no frunk. Similar to the Soul spinning before you, the Kia Nero was also at the show and lacks key frunk pup compatibility. Hold on, wait for it. Hyundai brought a game show to the LA Auto Show. Mercedes didn't bring the EQC to the show, but they did stuff one of their plug-in hybrids in a corner. Despite the Mercedes EQC being absent from the show, I did find one EV at the Mercedes booth. Ah, oh, okay, it folds down and it's attached with these little straps. Sorry, Earl, there's no room for frunk puppies here. The Rivian R1S and R1T, on the other hand, absolutely stole the show in the frunk puppy department. I mean, look at it, you could probably fit dozens of puppies in there. That's it, everyone else is going bankrupt. And here I am at the booth you guys have probably been waiting for, Rivian, and I'm here with Rivian CEO, RJ. Well, that was fun. If you want to check out that Rivian interview, go ahead and click right over here somewhere. If you want to see my latest video, assuming that it isn't the Rivian interview, go ahead and click right over here. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and click there. If you want some of my neat t-shirts, go ahead and click down there. And if you're interested in helping Earl in his shameless quest to get a roadster so that he can stuff a puppy in the frunk and take pictures, his referral code is down in the video description. Mine is to do with that what you will. Anyway, see you later.